We're back to the Total Tutor Show on the Total Education Network, TotalTutor.net for more information. Twitter, Total Tutor, Neil S. Haley, Facebook, the Beach Lifestyle Celebrity Segment. Uh, again, you can go to SimplyG.com as well. I want to welcome the program, All-Star, NBA, uh, soon to be Hall of Famer, in my, my belief, uh, Tim Hardaway. Tim, thanks for calling. Hey, no problem, man. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm excited to talk to you, and uh, for our audience out there, again, that might know your son more than yourself, just tell us a little bit about your background, and I remember playing all the way into playing video games with you on it, so uh, I, I, I remember you very, very well, so go tell me about it, yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm from Chicago, Illinois, uh, I went to Texas El Paso, where, uh, where the Bear used to coach at for about 35 years. Uh, the bear, his name is Don Haskins. He was, uh, if, if anybody's seen Glory Road, uh, he started five black guys in 1966 to beat, uh, Kentucky Adolf Rupp and, um, Pat Rowley's team, uh, was starting all five black guys with Bobby Joe Hill and, and, uh, those guys. And, um, uh, but if you see Glory Road, you understand the story and how they won. But, um, uh, from Texas El Paso, um, Got drafted by the Golden State Warriors, 14 and 89. Then uh, played with them for six years. Uh, and then got traded to the Miami Heat. Played with them 96 to 2001, 2002. And went to uh, Dallas Mavericks, Indiana Pacers, uh, Denver Nuggets. But I really don't count those teams. Cause <laughs> I only played half season with those teams. But you know, and then I just um, came back to Miami and just um, you know just. Made a house here and, 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 you know, started my second career and, and, um, doing community service and, uh, community liaison and, uh, um, a scout for the Miami Heat. I go out and, and, and um, uh, scout, uh, college games and some, some NBA games, but mostly college games. Well, absolutely. It seems like you want to stay in the sport, and that's fantastic. And uh, you get, especially with your son's success at the University of Michigan, and uh, now go, heading to the draft. I know you're busy as can be, as which we talked about before. Now, Tim, the what we have you on the show for is we highlight foundations and what athletes are doing to give back to the community. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, your foundation and uh, specifically why you started it? Well, uh, it's, it's called the Tim Hardaway Foundation, Tim Hardaway Leadership uh, Academy um, that we we trying to head up here in Miami. Uh, you know, we we uh, you know, I, I, when I was growing up, a lot of people gave back to me, uh, made me you know go on steer me in the right direction, made me understand you know go to school, get your education. If you got tutors, if you need tutors, we have tutors. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, don't be afraid to read. Don't be afraid to, you know, go out here and, and, and just be confident about yourself. These kids today need, need a hug, need an arm around their shoulders, need to understand that they loved, um, need to understand that we care about them and we want them, them to excel. And, uh, you know, and I want them to understand, you know, uh, everybody can't be a rapper. Everybody can't be a professional sports uh, player. Everybody uh, is not going to make it big right away. Uh, you got to, it takes time. And even if you're trying to become a, a professional athlete or, or a, a singer, uh, or, or a movie producer, it takes, it takes hard work. And whatever you do takes hard work. And we want to, we, we and we always reiterating to kids today that, uh, you know, nothing is fast, nothing is easy. You got to work hard to do, to get it. And hard work pays off. But you got to put in the time. If you're going to be a professional athlete, you got to put in that time. You got to go out there, and there's, there's a lot of sweat, tears, heartache, pain, and uh, and whatever you do. So uh, understand that and, and take that challenge, and and, and, and you know, and, and look at it in the eye, and look yourself in the eye, and say, look, I'm, I'm going to become somebody, and, and and go out there and do it. And you know, we we cater to all types. We cater to people that need children. We cater to people that need to understand how to how to you know, go to a job interview. We cater to families that you know un- need to understand how to feed your kids, how to uh, take care of your kids. Uh, you know, because a lot of these young people are having kids then, and you know, and they're young themselves. And they don't know how to be a parent, and we we cater to that. You know, we cater to everything that that a young person or an older person needs to uh, 
understand how to get through through life, and life is tough right now, and that's what the Tim Hardaway Foundation is about, and that's what the Tim Hardaway uh, Leadership uh, Academy is about. So basically, Tim, what you're talking about specifically, you want to, through, through your experiences, through the, the mentors that you had, and people that you uh, modeled, you said, you know what, I want them to have the opportunities I had. I was successful, I became a successful athlete, professional athlete, and now business person in many ways, and doing so many different things, you want them to have that skill set that you develop through your coaches, from uh, from UTEP to before that, that you had the right mentors around you, you surrounded yourself with the right people to be successful. So you're taking this foundation and trying to teach those skills. It sounds like exactly. Well, absolutely, and I think it's so so great that you're able to do that. And is this a national foundation, or are you pretty much look a lot of your activities in one area? Right now, it's just in one area in the Miami area, South of uh, downtown south of, of University of Miami. Uh, you know, it, 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 we, we, I want to cater to those kids and those families because the Miami Heat and, and uh, Miami Dolphins and, uh, you know, uh, Miami, um, uh, the baseball team, they have Miami Marlins they, and, the, and the Panthers, they, they focus, their main focus is north, north of downtown. I'm south of downtown because I want to get to these kids because they feel uh, like like they're being left behind, like 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 those like the sports and the entertainment world don't want to come and give back to them and talk to them. And I want to come back and talk to them, and make them understand that's not the case. You know, uh, we we still love you, we still care about you, and uh, we want you to excel in life. And that's that's what the Tim Hardaway Foundation is all about. And I and I and I have different people like Pitbull, uh, you know, uh, Rick Ross, and um, some of the basketball guys, football guys. And I have functions coming out here and talk to the kids out south, and you know, just just make them feel good about themselves and that they be confident to go out there in this world and and, and excel. Well, I think that's fantastic uh, to have those people because, again, they're they're just blown away. They say, wow, if they can make it, I can make it as well. And uh, through the foundation and looking at also the academy that you talked about, teaching those skills is so important. But you really, to have a successful foundation, Tim, especially when we talk about how busy you're, you have to be a great manager of an, an entire team to make sure it's successful. It can't just be done alone for athletes listening out there that might want to do something like you did, you have to have a great team around you to be successful. No, no question. You got to have a great team around me. Uh, Paul Roche, uh, he heads up, uh, helped me with my foundation, and you know he does a remarkable job with contacts, uh, getting in touch with um, different people to, um, to help us out and to raise money for uh, the Tim Hardaway Foundation. Uh, and then, you know, we got other people that's around that to help us out. So, uh, but he's the main person that, that, that sweat, uh, tears, uh, heartache, uh, goes out each and every day and, 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 and wants everything to happen more so than me. You know, he, he saw my passion. Now he's taking on my passion and he wants to, it, it to happen, uh, you know, and to help these kids out and help these family, families out more so than me. And that was his passion too. And, and, um, I hooked up with, you know, you got to have the right people like you said around you. But uh, it, it, you got to be lucky, too, to have the right people around you that, that want to help and have the same passion that you have, too. When you're talking about nonprofit organizations, Tim, that's the, the key, because a lot of times they aren't running it the right way. They're running it in specific ways just to keep open, keep the doors open. But it's not organized. You're not raising funds the way you need to. And it seems like th- your team is able to do that. And then, then you can bring in the great uh, celebrities. You can uh, create those great activities. But tell us a little bit about the academy now. Uh, specifically, you were talking about all these different skill sets. Is it like a school, or is it just more about you go into schools to teach some of these skills? Well, you know what? We, we, we have gone into schools and to teach um, these kids or after school. It's like an after school program. Well, we, uh, we teach them, uh, about working out. We teach them about how to eat right. Uh, and we bring food in to feed them too. Because a lot of these kids, when they go home, they don't have food on the table for them to eat. Uh, you know, they, they, they parents are still out working, you know, a second or a third job to make ends meet. So we feed them. 
we make sure, you know, that they understand how to hygiene and how to uh, take care of themselves and uh, make sure that, you know, they're doing what they're supposed to do in the classroom and make sure that they, they mind are, are right. You know, you know, they, they got so much anger in them. We, we, we teach them how to, you know, what, 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 what you can't, um, uh, what you can't be, what I want to say, you, you, what you can't, um, do to, to, to help your mom and your parents out, uh, to get out of the situation that y'all in. You, you got to go to school and you got to get your grades and you got to, uh, respect the teachers. And you got to uh, become somebody. That's what you, you can't help. You know what you're going through, but you can help other ways on trying to make it out and to make a difference for yourself. And that's what we try to teach these kids how to uh, prepare themselves for life. And uh, that's what the academy is about. But we go into schools now, but we're trying to get a building where we can bust in uh, these kids and, and have them in our in our um, you know different different kids to interact with one another and to have. And it's not really school either. You know, we, we help them with homework. We help them with, you know, understanding about what the teacher is saying at school and, and you know, and, and keep on about reading, reading, reading. But it's, it's, it's more about, you know, uh, understanding everything what you go through every day in life. That's what it's about. We're trying to get a, a, a facility where we can bust the kids to and uh, have them ourselves instead of being at the school after school. Well, how... Uh, how have the schools responded to your foundation by you reaching out to these communities? Have they been enthused by having uh, this organization being involved? I'm sure they, they're really excited to have a place, especially when you're telling me about kids that are not being fed. That this, this is a great thing for them, and then also yeah. to keep them off the streets in certain ways as well. Correct. Keep them off the streets. Uh, put some food in their belly. Uh, you know, nourish them and uh, make them understand that you know. Uh, that I, you got to keep moving, got to keep pushing, you got to keep going, and um, yeah, the school the school board is receptive to it, and uh, you know they they like what we're doing, they they, they see we got a passion in it, and they see that uh, we we here to help the kids, and 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 the kids uh, are receptive to it too. That we 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 haven't had a kid that has you know missed missed uh, session or missed uh, day. They've been there on time, attentive, ready, and eager to go, which is, you know, it, it's a great tribute to, the, uh, like I said, the people that, that's helping us out, all the teachers uh, that are helping us out, all the, all the counselors that are helping us out, all the fitness people that are helping us out. You know, it, it, that's a great tribute to them because they see uh, our focus and, and where we want to take this mission to, and, that, and that, that's what it's about. And I'm sure also they're happy, especially after your career with the Heat, that you've continued to stay in Miami and be involved in the foundation. Because, again, you were definitely uh, a piece of the, the great Miami Heat teams. And for you to be there and you to be still involved in that community, I'm sure they're so excited. Because you're, you're showing that you're giving back and you're showing your passion for Miami and especially helping these kids. No question. Uh, you know, I, I like giving back. Uh I like seeing the smiles on the kids' faces. Um, you know, not not at the beginning, but at the end when they when they see that it's productive, when they see that it's working, when they see that you know that that you open up their eyes and and, and they and they think and you know that they can go further with their education. They confident with their with their selves and and they feel that you know they could they go out there and do anything. Now that's that's the most. Uh, gratifying thing to me to just to see that confidence and see that that smile on their face as they ready to tackle something else and, and to ready to uh, you know just really go forward in life. Okay, so tell me uh, some of the success stories because you've had the foundation for a while. Of uh, uh, one of the stories that has really touched your heart through your foundation. Well, you know, I, I, we just had a group of kids uh, through the leadership uh, academy um, that we went to a school. And uh, we 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 you know we we had like I think about twelve to fifteen kids, and after the, uh, six weeks, and after the program was over with, you know they come up and just say thank you, you know thank you for caring, thank you for uh, you know just being there for us, thank you, you know even the parents come up and say thank you because some of these are troubled kids, and and since they have been in our program. You know, they, they haven't been in the office. They, they've been respecting their teachers. They've been respecting their peers. Uh, they've been doing well in school. 
And, um, you know, they, they said, you know, next year we, we want to come back and, and, and we want to, we want to continue the program. And, that, and that's what it's all about. Uh, I think about, uh, about three years ago, we sent, um, ooh, about 300 kids, uh, on a, on a trip to, uh, to different colleges around the state of Florida and, and like right on the tip of, um, of Atlanta. And like all these kids didn't know that they would be able to go to college. And, and when they went to colleges and, and went and sat, this was during the summer and sat in at the, at, a, uh, at a, in a, in a, in a classroom with the professor talking and, and, you know, they just walking around the car and seeing the dorm, seeing the administration building, seeing the, seeing the, uh, what well, we just call it the bookstore, but where all the uh, people hang out at, uh, you know, they came back and said, you know, I re- I'm glad that my mom forced me to go on this trip because I really didn't want to go on this trip. And I'm glad she forced me and I'm glad that I went on this trip. And it was about, you know, like I said, it was about three, 400 kids. And they come back and they just, they, they, the gratifying stories and, and it brings tears to your eyes. And they say, you know, I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to go to college, but I see myself going to college and finishing college and getting me a degree and, 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 and taking my, my life further, uh, and whatever I do. So that, that's, that's, that's some of the stories that, that we like to hear that, uh, that I like to see. Uh, I like to see it on the, on the kid's face. And, um, you know, that, that's the gratifying stories that I like. And, well, and it's, it makes me feel that I'm doing the right thing all the time. Well, Tim, I think that's fantastic. What is your ultimate goal for the foundation? Where do you see it in the next 10 years? Where do you want to see it? In next 10 years, I, I, I just want to grow in the next 10 years and just help these kids out and have a uh, Tim Hardaway uh, 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 Leadership Academy school where I can help these uh, kids out and, and, you know, just just make them understand, you know, we love you all, we want you all to excel, but this is the way you have to excel, this is the way you have to go through life, and this is the way you have to, you know, uh, uh, do your school and your classwork. And, um, and, that, and that's, what, that's what I wanted to be about, you know. It, it, it's all about helping the kids in the next 10 years. I, like I said, I want to have a leadership academy uh, school just to help these kids that's out there. Awesome. They, they, they for another 50 years when I'm gone and, and have it to keep going. Well, Tim, I hope I can help out in any way. I am uh, my business partner and co-host, G.J. Reynolds, who couldn't make the call. Uh, basically, uh, I'm on the board of Mission G, and what we do is one of our missions is feeding children. So if we can help out your foundation in any way, we have to touch base off air and see what we can do to help you out. And, uh, and, 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 feed, and we do a feeding the children program, so we'll talk to you about that. But also, when I'm out in Miami, maybe we'll connect when I'm out for the book fair in uh, November. So let's just stay in touch. Yeah, no, most definitely. Let's stay in touch, and let's, you know, definitely when you come out here for the book fair, uh, get together and, and you know, and just talk and just see what we can do to help the kids out. And that's that's a wonderful thing you all are doing. You know, just you know, feeding the kids, man. I, I mean, it's 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 great because a lot of these kids, you know, it's, it's tough for them. It's very tough for them. So uh, just see a smile on their faces, man. It it, it 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 makes it all worthwhile. Okay, so where can we find information on your foundation, Tim Hardaway, and also on you? Well, uh, Tim Hardaway Foundation, uh, uh, Tim Hardaway Leadership uh, Academy. Uh, you go there, um, uh, or you go to Tim Hardaway Foundation and uh, okay. dot com dot com, okay. and um, tells you a lot. Yeah, you tells you a lot about me, and tells you a lot about the. Uh, the foundation and uh, what we're doing with the leadership academy, and um, that's you know that's what it's all about, man. And I appreciate you having me on, getting the word out there to all your uh, listeners, and uh, that's what it's all about: spreading the word and seeing if everybody can help everybody to make a difference in this world. Well, absolutely, Tim. And uh, you have a Twitter as well for our listeners to tweet you out. What is the Twitter? No, I don't have a Twitter. You don't have a Twitter? I have a Twitter. Oh, Twitter. I thought you had a Twitter. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. no. I don't have Twitter. It's, I don't it's, have it's, 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 oh, wow. I'm, I'm real, I'm real base, <laughs> real base. You know, I, 
You know, I just like to be real based. I go through my uh, foundation uh, emails and, and send back emails and go from there. But I'm sure your son has a Twitter, right? Oh, my yeah. My son has a Twitter or a Facebook and Instagram and all that type of stuff. But I, I don't even see how they keep up with all that stuff. But then, then they got to keep up with other stuff that's not on that. So it is. But, I mean, I, I mean they, they, they manage it, so I guess it's good for them. Well, cool. Thanks for calling the program. Hope we connect in Miami. But I'll be in touch to try to get things started so we can help your foundation out by uh, feeding the children and, and, and keep you on and bring you back sometime to talk about some more things. But best of luck to you, and especially the NBA draft. I know you're really excited about your son, and uh, hopefully he gets yes, to sir. the right team and you can continue to follow his career. What an awesome thing you're doing and what you're doing for the foundation. So thanks for calling, Tim. Thank Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, take care, man. You're listening to the Total Tutor Show, powered by the Beach Lifestyle Celebrity Segment. And we'll be back in just a moment.